Live back in the studios at KPIX 5 for round three of the CBS Bay Area Spelling Bee. And the spellers are all ready to go, so let's toss it back to pronouncer Stan Bunger. Sharon, you caught me hydrating. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Round three begins now. Speller number one. The word is mayonnaise. Helga wouldn't eat a roast beef sandwich without mayonnaise. 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 M A Y O N N A I S E. Mayonnaise. Samurai. Deepak marveled at the metalwork in the armor of the samurai that was on exhibit last month. Samurai. Samurai. Can I have the definition, please? A military retainer of a Japanese feudal lord practicing the chivalric code of Bushido, privileged to wear two swords and having the power of life and death over the commoners. Samurai. S A M U R A I. Samurai. Verboten. Smoking is now verboten in most restaurants. Verboten. Verboten. Can I have the definition, please? Forbidden, especially prohibited by dictate. Can I have the language of origin, please? Originally from a German word. Verboten is the word? Verboten. Verboten. V E R B O T E N. Verboten. Wainscot. Michelle chose a striped wallpaper for the wainscot in the dining room. Wainscot. Wainscot. May I have the origin? It's from Dutch. Wainscot. W A I N S C O T. Wainscot. Chagrin. Pete tried to conceal his chagrin when his younger brother beat him at chess. Chagrin. Chagrin. C H A G R I N. Chagrin. Mariachi. On weekends, the mariachi entertain, di entertain diners at the Mexican restaurant. Mariachi. May I have the language of origin? It's from a probably French derived Spanish word. Mariachi. M A. R I A C H I Mariachi This word could be confused with a similar word. I'll give you some additional information. Cachet. It's a noun. It means a characteristic feature or quality conferring prestige or distinction or inspiring respect. Acting in a hit television sitcom often does not carry the same cachet as acting in a hit movie. Cache. May I have the origin, please? It's from a French word. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Cache. C A C H E. Cache. Poltergeist. Our favorite Halloween story is about a poltergeist who torments the tenants of a house in which there previously has been a murder. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Definition? A noisy and usually mischievous ghost. Poltergeist. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-E-I-S-T. -E -E poltergeist. Camouflage. Camouflage of the gun emplacements proved effective against aerial detection. Can I Camouflage. Have, can I have a definition, please? The disguising of an installation, vehicle, gun position, or ship with paint, garnished nets, or foliage to reduce its visibility or conceal its actual nature or location from the enemy. Okay. Camouflage. 
C A M O U F L A G E. Camouflage. Marzipan. In Germany, small candy pigs made of marzipan are eaten at the start of the new year for good luck. Marzipan. Marzipan. May I have the definition, please? A confection of crushed almonds or almond paste, sugar, and whites of eggs that is often shaped into various forms as animals or fruits. Marzipan. M-A-R-Z-I-P-A-N. Marzipan. Entourage. The rock star and his entourage occupied an entire floor of the hotel. Entourage. May I have the definition, please? One's attendants or subordinates. Can I have the language of origin? It came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Entourage. E-N-T-O-U-R-A-G-E. -E. Entourage. Erudite. The speaker's presentation was a compilation of research that would interest only the most erudite scholars in his field. Erudite. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Erudite. Erudite. E R U D I T E. Julep. A mint julep is often served in an extraordinarily tall glass. Julep. Julep. J U L E P. Julep. Kudzu. Along many highways in the south, Kudzu imported many years ago for erosion control covers the roadside like drapery. Kudzu. Can I have a language of origin? It's from Japanese. Kudzu. K-U-D-Z-U. Kudzu. This, this word could be confused with a similar word, so I'll give you additional information. Cossack. It's a noun that means a member of a favored military caste of Russian frontiersmen and border guards in Tsarist Russia who played an important part in Russian expansion. The museum's hat display included one worn by a Cossack who was an ancestor of Mr. Khan, the curator. Cossack. Cossack. May I have the language of origin? It's from a Turkish-derived Russian word and a Turkish-derived Ukrainian word. Cossack. C-O-S-S-A-C-K. Cossack. This word could be confused with a similar word. You'll receive additional information. Opossum, a noun meaning an omnivorous, largely nocturnal and arboreal mammal that has a prehensile tail and an abdominal pouch to which the young are transferred at birth and that reputedly feigns death when startled or alarmed. Arnold caught the opossum eating the cat's food. Opossum. Opossum. O-P-O-S-S-U-M. Opossum. Maladroit. Nathan's maladroit reply typified his lack of social graces. Maladroit. Maladroit. M-A-L-A-D-R-O-I-T. Maladroit. This could be confused with a similar word. Kasha, a noun meaning a mush made from coarse cracked buckwheat, barley, millet, or wheat. For supper, Boris's mother served stuffed cabbage, kasha, wild mushrooms, and ground pork. Kasha. May I please have the language of origin? It's from Russian. May I please have the definition again? A mush made from coarse, cracked buckwheat, barley, millet, or wheat. Kasha. K-A-S-H-A. -S kasha. Samovar. 
When he was visiting his Russian friends, Ron was offered some tea brewed in their samovar. Samovar. Can you please have the language of origin? Russian. Samovar. S-A-M-O-V-A-R, samovar. Koan. The most widely known koan is the question, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Koan. May I have the origin? It's from Japanese. May I have the definition? A paradox used in Zen Buddhism as an instrument of meditation in training monks to despair of an ultimate dependence upon reason and to force them into sudden intuitive enlightenment. May you please repeat the word? Koan. Koan. K-O-A-N. Koan. Uh, Nader, there was, let me, let me give you some additional information so I'll, I'll get to that. Nader, a noun that means the point of the celestial sphere that is directly opposite the zenith and vertically downward from the observer. There was no way for Amos to see the moon because it was at the nadir. Nader. Nader. Am I saying it correctly? Nader? Yep. Nader. Am I saying it correctly? Nader. May I have the definition, please? The point of the celestial sphere that is directly opposite the zenith and vertically downward from the observer. May I have the language of origin, please? Originally Arabic, it went into French before being adopted by English. Na Nader, am I saying it correctly? No, no. Nader. Nader. Yes. N-A-D-E-R, Nader. This word has a near homonym. Cherry, an adjective meaning hesitant and vigilant about dangers and risks, unwilling to proceed without much consideration. The cherry investor put his money in mutual funds instead of investing it directly in specific stocks. Cherry. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. May I please have the language of origin? English. Could you please repeat the sentence? The cherry investor put his money in mutual funds instead of investing it directly in specific stocks. Am I saying it right? Cherry? Yes. Cherry. C H A. R Y Cherry Guillotine. The guillotine was considered a merciful means of capital punishment when it was invented. Guillotine. Guillotine. G U I L L O T I N E. Guillotine. Nabob. The Hollywood Nabob rarely traveled without his personal chef, assistant, stylist, and masseuse. Nabob. Can I have the language of origin, please? Originally Arabic, this word passed through Hindi before becoming English. Nabob. N-A-B-O-B. Nabob. Alchemy. The wizard's apprentice was determined to learn enough alchemy to turn lead into gold. Alchemy. Alchemy. A-L-C-H-E-M-Y. Alchemy. This word could be confused with a similar word. Hyperbole. A noun that means extravagant exaggeration that represents something as much greater or less, better or worse, or more intense than it really is, or that depicts the impossible as actual. To say that life will never be the same after kindergarten graduation is hyperbole. 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 H-Y-P-E-R-B-O-L-E. Hyperbole. Commandante. 
The commandante had the pilot arrested for flying the helicopter into his area without a permit. Commandante. May I please have the definition? The officer in control of a place or of a military group. Commandante. C O M A N D A N T E. Commandante. Egregious. Heather believes that even the most egregious crimes do not warrant capital punishment. Egregious. Egregious. E G R E G I O U S. Egregious. This word could be confused with a similar word. Charpoy. A noun that means a bed consisting of a frame strung with tapes or light rope used especially in India. Mira found the charpoy and feather mattress in her hotel room surprisingly comfortable. Charpoy. Charpoy. May I have the language of origin? It's from a word that went from Persian to Hindi. Charpoy. C H A R P O Y. Charpoy. Belligerent. The victorious faction is setting up an interim government and purging its belligerent enemies. Belligerent. Belligerent. B-E-L-L-I-G-E-R-E-N-T. Belligerent. The next word is escargot. Saul fished the escargot out of its shell with a tiny fork and popped it into his mouth. Escargot. Escargot. May I have the definition? A snail prepared for use as food. Escargot. May I have the language of origin? It's from a word that went from Old Provencal to French. Escargot. E-S-C-A-R-G-O-T. Escargot. Zucchini. Zucchini. Tim picked a large zucchini from his garden. Zucchini. Zucchini. Can I have the definition? A slender summer squash with very dark green or blackish skin and thick greenish white or creamy white tender flesh. Zucchini. Can you give me the language of origin? It's from Italian. Zucchini. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Zucchini. 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 Z U C C H I N I. Zucchini. Facetious. When the radio host asked the pop star about his motorcycle accident, the interviewee dodged the question with a facetious comment. Facetious. May I have the definition? Characterized by pleasantry or levity, meant to be humorous or funny, not serious. May I have a language of origin? It came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Facetious. Am I saying it correctly? Facetious? Yes. Facetious. F A C E T I. O U S facetious. Serendipity. The discovery of penicillin as an antibiotic was largely a matter of serendipity. 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 S E R E N D I P I T Y. Serendipity. Fräulein. A fräulein in traditional Bavarian dress took the tourists through the old castle. Fräulein. Can I have the language of origin? It's from an originally German word. Fräulein. Fräulein. F-R-A-U-L-E-I-N. -E 
Eocene. The geologic timetable indicated that early forms of many modern mammals appeared during the Eocene epoch. Eocene. Can I have the definition? Of or relating to the second principal subdivision of the tertiary geologic period used commonly of the epoch following the Paleocene and preceding the Oligocene. Eocene. E O C E N E. Eocene. Genre. Most of the director's work has been in the genre of science fiction. Genre. Genre. Can I have the definition? A category of artistic composition characterized by a particular style, form, or content. Genre. G-E-N-R-E. -E. Genre. Okay, I think that concludes round three. It does indeed, Stan. And after beginning with 44 spellers, we are now at the end of round three down to 35.